Happy 4th of July, everybody. I uh, <clears throat> can't stop working, so I figured I'd post a little video of what I got yesterday. Um, it's my usual routine of dropping off some stuff at the post office and then kind of using some of that net towards the, towards the next lot. I think uh, most of what I dropped off was um, just a little bit of like $5 pieces it sold for like you know, not that, not that much, but it was like from bins. So it cost me 50 cents, maybe, maybe a dollar on sale. So I still made money. Um, and then I also sold that, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it in the video. I mentioned it in the comments. I got a $20, uh, PFV. It's a flotation device. It was a coast guard rated and it like has all the straps, everything, but a holster was on it. So it wasn't like tactical, but, uh, that one sold for 140 uh, within a week. And then uh, I went back to that Father Joe's and uh, spent some more uh, of this, of that profit to get some more of this to hopefully get it listed by the end of the day uh, within a day or two. Uh, I'm keeping a pretty good rhythm now that I'm, I'm situated with my situation, you know what I mean? Uh, so far, everything's going well health-wise. And I've got a little bit of coffee to give me energy. But not too much coffee. I was realizing I was killing a pot or close to a pot a day. Oh, that's funny. This is new. That's why they look so good. Oh, yeah, of course. This one was folded. It was really dusty in the shop. Um, but it was uh, it had the fold sta uh, stains, marks, it creases. And it's a Hart Schaffner Marks shirt. Oh, I, I finally stuck to my idea, and I was there almost near opening. So I was able to get almost everything that I wanted to that was on the steepest 75% off discount. Uh, there were some good pieces that I think I got regardless of the price. But for the most part, everything here was pretty pretty good uh, on the on the price point. So yeah, this is a 15 and a half Hart Schaffner Marks kind of purpley uh, barrel cuff shirt. This should be a quick sell. Um, let's see. Yeah, this one was full and stained, but the stain was so minor by the collar, I basically spotted it as a coffee stain. This is a Pendleton. It looks like one of the um, more recent Pendletons, kind of like that Costco Pendleton I sold that was new. I wish I sold it for a little more, but it was happy to sell it so soon after. I think I sold it for 25 or 35 and it cost me 12 on... 20%, 10% discount, but it was one of the runs where everything on average cost me around four bucks. So as long as I sell everything, <laughs> but yeah, this is a, a Pendleton and it's got the tag rip down the middle, which I think is just like a store cut it or, you know, they donated it and somehow ended up at a thrift store. I think this one also had some staple marks for maybe a price tag or something like that, but nothing that can't be steamed out with a little bit of love. So this Pendy should go uh, pretty quickly. Might price it lower than, you know, other ones. But if I can get 20 for it and it gets up there pretty soon, I'll be happy. Land's End, long sleeve. Uh, I think this is, is this called a Henley? These are called Henleys when they're long sleeve-ish, but still have like the, the button stop there. It's not a polo. Maybe it is a polo. I forget what the difference is. Oh, Henley is no collar. There we go. I'm, I'm, I'm remembering. This one also, even though it was uh, a little pressed, I, I thought maybe it was a new piece that was sitting there, but no, nah, it definitely has uh, some like wash uh, or usage wear. The Land's End is a little, not cracky, but it's worn. Uh, so there's a few of these. And again, that Land's End, I didn't even look it up, but being at a dollar-ish, uh, I know that'll sell, even if it just goes for 10 There's a couple of these, and I think this is Marks & Spencer. Uh, there was one that said Marks & Spencer on it, and it does have that logo. This says M&S. There's a few that said M&S Man um, in here, but they're all around the same size. They're the 15, so small to medium, uh, but clean, good condition, um, more modern, slim cut, uh, casual shirts, you know, untuck it style. So hopefully if someone sees that I have a few of those, they'll, they'll buy them all off me. 
Oh, that's, that's yet to happen. I've had one person message me in the past about clearing me out on a bunch of pieces that were their size, their style. But uh, it has yet to happen. And at the consignment store, it was always pretty sweet. Someone would come in and be like, slide their arm in like a sport coat. And you'd see their face go, this one fits. This fits fully. Oh, my God. And then you'd be like, dude, this guy brought in like seven more pieces. You want to see the rest of his stuff? And I'm not saying that they would clear us out, but they'd always be like, hey, I'll at least buy this. And then this little, little extra piece from this guy's inventory or come back later on because they know this person's size. Or come in months later and be like, hey, has that guy dropped off any more stuff? Which is awesome. <clears throat> Sometimes you'd have to be like, no, nah, that guy hasn't died a second time. So we can't we can't consign a second wave of this stuff. But I'm glad you're 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 bringing new life into it. <laughs> yeah, I have a dark sense of humor. Uh, MNS man, Market Spencer man. This is another one, 15 and a half. Another nice shirt. Kind of uh, pastel -y colors on that one. <clears throat> Sorry, shouldn't have had the coffee. Now it's like a little bit of milk. It's like, hey, dude, you're not drinking milk, are you? Did you try to sneak some milk past me? Hide it in some coffee? Uh, m and Man, Cotton Rich, another like nice standard office shirt for casual. Boom. I think at their 75% discount, the $6.99 shirts, $5.99 shirts. Oh, shoot. I'm, I'm not sure which tag I'm remembering seeing. I think it's $5.99. So it's like $175 or $185 a shirt. So, yeah, that was like, I think, the last of the MS Man shirts. Uh, here's a vintage Nordstrom's. And hopefully the image quality is better. For some reason, the last video, I just noticed it was really choppy, really low end. This is the only camera I have there. So I don't know what was getting filtered or what was getting done to make it look a little uh, not good. But anyway, yeah. Nordstrom long sleeve. I thought this was large. XL. Yeah. Nordstrom long sleeve, large XL. Whatever. That'll sell pretty quick. I'm doing pretty well on my, on my bigger pieces. I, I think I told everyone on the last video or one of the last two videos... That I just kind of been trimming the fat on the prices. Anything that's kind of an ugly price, five twenty six, you know, whatever. I'm just shaving it down, one or two bucks. Um, bringing a lot of prices from like twenty to sixteen eighteen, or, or sixteen eighty eight, thirteen eighty eight, twenty three instead of twenty four. Um, anything that just makes it look appealing and still doesn't eat too much into my profit because it's, you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to survive off this. This is uh. French cuff, decent enough uh, uh, herringbone shirt, blue, a little bit of that iridescent vibe. Um, they uh, seem to be selling pretty decently. What is it? Alfred Sun, like 20 bucks, 15 to 25. Uh, it's a shirt maker from Canada. I don't know if he's super particularly high end. Uh, the tag just looks a little like Y2K-ish. So, and even the blue. This just looks like white 2K blue. Um, a lot of shirts you'd see at thrift stores look like this. Uh, had that shade. Um, and also that darker blue. I'm trying to think like if it was somewhere a step between this and that. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like a brown a sport coat. Um, there's another bag. That's laundry. I almost pulled out laundry. That would have been a bad look. There we go. So let's see, another little piece that I think would be a quick flip. It's a flannel, so already that's a that's a good call. It's an obey, not that they're gonna ask for a lot of money, but it's a nice enough print on the on the pattern. It's kind of lightweight, it's like a California friendly flannel. You can kind of see through it, at least I can with the lighting. And uh, I think if I put this like 13 bucks, it'll be a uh, no problemo fit. Um, I think I made a mistake and priced another one that I really liked, like a blue and yellow kind of plaid one at like 2018 and it still hasn't moved. Uh, that's going to remind me to, to make sure it's marked down and I'm sure I'll have no problem there. Uh, Burma Vivas, not that they sell like hotcakes, but it's a silk shirt and it costs nothing. And it's just, it's just, I think a no brainer to put a, a silk shirt for a low price out there. And again, all these I got yesterday. I think my total was 65. 
I'll just say 65. Let's say 70 just to cover everything, but I know it was like in the 60s. And I think if I sell these and list them pretty quick and sell them at even at 10 each, I'm going to be doing pretty well. Um, and I think there's going to be some pieces that are going to surprise me when I do a little more research and I'm going to be able to ask a little more. Uh, and this is the Marks and Spencer uh, that was a different guy. Yeah, but this is Marks and Spencer spelled out. More of a formal French cuff shirt. Again, for a big guy shirt, I didn't see any flaws or stains, which is nice. Although, as I said that, where the button lined up here on the back end, I was like, oh no, it's got a vertical stain. No, it's just a shadow. Uh, it's okay, cave brain. Don't fear the shadow. Uh, he's got two mismatched collar stays in here. So the guy just worked with whatever he had. The collar points are good. Um, awesome. This is going to be an easy sell. And, yeah, I will do some research later. This one just kind of looked cool. I kind of wish it was my size. It had that Sailor Jerry's kind of art style. I don't know what they represent, who they are. It kind of reminded me of, like, SoCal Surf or Skate brand. But Dark Seas Tees, this one was at full price. But, again, that's $4 for the tees there. So, no biggie. Division, uh, Dark Seas Division, made in Mexico. Yeah, not too familiar with them. Uh... Their shirts did go for 10 to 15-ish, and then the ones that were the tie-dye series or designs were going up to 24, and I saw one or two for 30-ish. Uh, uh, let's see what I got next. Oh, there's a third bag, too. Okay. Uh, Quechua. Quechua. Not familiar too much with Quechua. Boom. But it looked like it was like outdoorsy or runner friendly gear uh, in some of the posts. Um, like maybe like fitness. This is, looks like it's like vented or zipped. Yeah, there's a zipper here. Zipper pocket. And it's vented. Like the whole thing is like maybe like for hikers, travelers, uh, hot climates. But uh, those weren't selling... Um, What's the, what's the term? High sell through or whatever? I think it had a high sell through, but there wasn't a lot up there. I don't know if it's maybe like a company that you'd see more in another country. Uh, MBX Premium Goods. This one, I'm not familiar with the brand. It just looked like a decent enough pattern, and it was like one of the first blue tag shirts I grabbed before I realized there was a bunch of other stuff to grab. I probably didn't need to grab this one. Um, but if I remember correctly, I did look it up, and it was at least worth giving this brand uh, a shot for the first time. For my first time. Uh, and then a t-shirt. Just a theory. Yeah, it's just a random theory t-shirt. I don't know if it's a reference to anything. Uh, don't really care. It was a dollar. And uh, I know theory stuff will sell. Um, oh, yeah. I also grabbed a little... Deadpool figure, because, uh, why not? Reminds me of my buddy. He's no longer with us. The off causing mayhem in the sky. Uh, oh yeah, Sporty Cody. Boom, this is, uh, Hart Schaffner Marks. Looks like I might have missed a flaw, but it's so minor. It looks like it, it needs to get fixed. But right around here where I'm poking out, looks like there's a little bit of looseness in the weave. But that could be fixed by a professional. And this is actually a pretty good vintage piece. It's uh, unlined. It's got it's well made. Good craftsmanship. I'm not familiar with the Baskin. If that's like a if that's going to fetch a certain amount or if that's like a certain design or maybe it was like the, the name of the cut. I'm going to have to do some research. Really bummed that, I, that there's a that potential flaw there because I did look this piece over pretty well. Oh, well, you live and learn and then you get loves. But I, I don't think this will be a, this will have a problem. As long as you're clear, accurate, and honest, you won't have any issues. Um, I haven't had any returns in like a month and a half. I've had two or three returns that I think were kind of uh, suspect, but what are you going to do? For the most part, people are good. I was actually thinking of 
talking to my buddy about this because I was so worried when I started two years ago, two and a half years ago, something like that, maybe under two years ago. I was so worried about doing this because I was like, dude, if I get ripped off, I can't afford to get ripped off and the little hang time between getting the piece back and whatnot. My first sale was to Russia. And I was like, oh my God, I'm going to cancel my account. I'm going to throw my phone away. I'm clearly going to get scammed. And this guy ended up giving me a, a glowing review and he was happy to get the stuff. And I was like, oh, okay, everything's going to be fine. And everything has been fine for the most part. Uh, I got to spend more time. I didn't want to go over my limit, which I did. I wanted to spend 20 to 40. I spent 65. But right before I left, I could see these the label of these cute little shorts that said Mr. Turk on it. And then I saw a robe sell for 300. I saw short sell for 55. I saw shirt shirts, I think, sell for like 100 something. So if this is the Mr. Turk brand that I think was selling like like little hotcakes, this might have been a good end of a haul purchase. But uh, yeah, that was two bucks, maybe less. It was like a, maybe a a dollar seventy five, like the like the other shirts. Uh, this is a little kid me probably would have liked to rock this at home and not get not take it to school to get beat up. But a Pokemon Team Mystic hoodie. Um, I saw a few of these going on sale for like fifty five ish, forty. I don't know if this has any significance still to the show or if it's like an actual like, you know, league for something or maybe just some schools <laughs> art, but, um, which is also funny when you buy like a thing that you're like, oh, this is such a sick shirt. And then you realize it's a volleyball team that like just reappropriated the art or something. Um, but yeah, that's, that, that cost me three bucks. This one I saw a couple of weeks back. I'm going to throw this in a bowl of OxyClean right now. It's got like a gunky surface stain. It's a Travis Matthews um, uh, polo shirt. So it's nice enough. I'm going to just... I do this thing. See, I used to do it and just kind of like not pay attention to the piece. But now I do and like eagle eye it for 15 minutes. But I kind of create like a little knot. I shove a bunch of, I stick my finger through, I shove a bunch of the OxyClean on the inside, twist it up, and then fold that with like the, the goop that I'm trying to get rid of, also kind of facing into some more OxyClean, and then throw that into some water. Um, but on like maybe one out of ten pieces, it'll just eventually bleach out that the color. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's I always try and test and make sure it's a safe piece, but sometimes it'll just ruin a piece even further, and then you just got to get creative and do a, a bleach stain thing and then list it as that. But uh, I'm going to try it here because it's already basically a loss as it is, and if it stains it further than that, I've got a few other shirts in line that uh, I'm going to just bleach stone, bleach some stones, and then do like the rub over it to kind of give it the distressed look and... Uh, then relist them. I've had some of my recent dyes or bleach shirts that were my own shirts that I was just going to get rid of sell. So it's a good way to use the whole buffalo, I guess, as it were. So yeah, that's uh, going to go right there. And I think there's a one more piece in here. Yeah, this guy, I wasn't going to go pants and shorts heavy and, uh, you know, any weight heavy because I just, I already have a rack here that's been looming that I want to get rid of so I can have some room. So my dogs can wiggle past. But there was uh, Armani Jeans Blues Factory. And these were selling for like 55-ish, as it were. Uh, this one did look like it had, it, it was just like worn and then probably donated straight up. Not that it was like stinky or anything, but just like, you know, kind of like a yellowing or dusty wear on it. It's kind of cool, kind of distressed. Uh, you might have seen that little spot on the hip right when I held up the camera just now. But <clears throat> I'm going to try to list this ASAP, post this ASAP, and get some money for it ASAP. Uh, and uh, I think that's absolutely it. Let's see. Let's do a quick count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then that. There is the 20th. Come on. So it's like $2.20 or something like that. 
calculator. Oh, it's like three-ish. Yeah, it's like 22 and 65. Um, that's not bad. That is actually really not bad. Because even if the, the these shirts right here only go for 13, 10, you know, if they're quick flips, that's not 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 too too much of a loss in time. Um, in actuality, they cost me like 185. I'm hoping to get 10 to 15 for them before shipping, which is five or six dollars. And sometimes I make a dollar fifty off that. Anyway, um, and these jeans again, 55. That sport coat. It's gonna need a fix. I don't know what the moth hole repair person's gonna charge, but if I can get twenty bucks to twenty five for this, that's no problem because it's an eight dollar sport coat at uh, seventy five percent off. It cost me two bucks. Uh, I think I'm gonna do pretty well. I'm gonna list these shorts probably first up, and I'm trying to in my head right now figure out what I'm gonna do. But I'm probably gonna get get a steam in, do the shorts and the pants first, so I have less weight in my face to deal with. I'll fold that up all nice and clean. And I swear, I know this looks chaotic and like haven't done any progress, but behind the scenes is getting pretty, pretty tuned up. It's looking pretty nice. All right. So don't fret. Uh, I should have made my bed. So. And then uh, that sport coat right there, if you're wondering, because it's been there in a couple videos, it had a, uh, like a surface black stain that I couldn't get off. I let too much OxyClean sit on it that had moisture still, even though I thought I got it off. The next day, it ended up bleaching. Uh, so whatever, like, rayon or whatever interacted with it. What I think I'm going to do with that one is I have a bunch of um, uh, fabric. I'm going to stretch out, make a screen, use my label printer to print shapes or silhouettes that are about this size, you know, in here. And then just quick little spritz and do some design, some floral stuff or whatever the heck. I don't know. Uh, I want to get creative with it. I don't want to spend too much time with it. And I do want to sell it. That's one of the ones that cost me like $3 when the African Alliance was uh, closing or having a sale. So it's not a big deal, but I do want it <laughs> out of my way. Uh, and also, it's I don't want it out of my way because it's kind of nice to block when the uh, wind picks it up and the, the neighbors can look right in because there's a house right there. Uh, nice guys, though. Uh, I'm rambling because the coffee be clicking. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and I think the next video I'll do, maybe right after this, is uh, what's sold out of the recent vids, out of the recent sales. I've had a lot of stuff that I've been I've posted recently that I've sold, so it looks like when you work hard and put your mind to it, shit turns around. So just keep on keeping on out there if you're struggling or whatever. Just know that it'll it'll come around as long as you're putting good effort. Um, and when it even though it seems counterintuitive, just. <laughs> You gotta go out and spend money to make money. You gotta go out and buy stuff and put stuff on your store, and uh, and list it quick to to get eyes on your store. I've 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 had a many many instances now where I'm really stressed and I stop working or slow down on working. And in, in reality, as soon as I buck up and get listing and start putting stuff up, and even if it keeps me up till two or eight two, two a.m. that next afternoon when I wake up, I'll get a bunch of sales or orders or. <laughs> or something that's like okay yeah it's not all that bad and it's like i'm still i'm still you know hopefully evening out soon but um i've had a few days recently where i'm like oh thank god thank god i'm doing this i don't have to work for anyone i know what i know i'm slowly learning and growing my my knowledge and getting other you know pieces that i probably wouldn't come across i'm also expanding my style which is kind of nice there's my, a few pieces in there that every once in a while i'm like okay it's good to go in my closet but, um, yeah, keep on, keep it on. Hope everything's going well with you guys. Oh, one last thing. That's what I wanted to post. Share. So the African Alliance, they finally moved. I'm going to go visit them next week once I have some more money. But they were selling a bunch of these for $3 each. And uh, I spent 21 on a few of them. And I already sold uh, one for 35 30 And then shipping. Uh, the shipping, I ate $4. So I misjudged the size and the weight. I raised these to uh, accommodate and still kept them competitive, but I'm trying to get like 30, 40 for these. They sell for 80 new, but everyone's selling them used for like 40-ish.
but I already made my money back on that. I have six more <laughs> to go, and uh, I only bought these because they had no uh, clothing. They were completely cleared out on the last few days. They were just moving furniture and whatever else out and pricing everything low. So I bought these because I figured I could flip them quickly, and I did <laughs> to some degree. But uh, yeah, you know how some people keep out an eye for other things. This is one of those other things. Um, I do have some of my own uh, that I haven't finished going through. I didn't realize how expensive they were. But uh, yeah, I, I haven't gotten into meal prepping yet, so <laughs> I'm not going to use these. Swing by my eBay store if you want them at a good deal. Thanks for checking this out and listening to my ramblings. Um, again, be well. Keep on keeping on.